Brockman, who is the chief test pilot of Airbus Military. Uh, thank you very much for speaking to us today, Ed. Um, first question, how does the performance of the A400M differ from previous models? Okay, well, in fact, uh, we've just moved into the 21st century. Uh, we've uh, taken core Airbus technology. Uh, we've expanded and modified that uh, technology to do the military task. Um, a good example of that is the fly-by-wire system. We've taken the fly-by-wire of uh, the history of 320 through 380. Uh, we've widened the parameters. We have higher roll rates. We have an airplane which is much more uh, agile and uh, mobile. And uh, a great airplane to fly. Okay. Um... What upgrades and innovations have been made in controls, uh, instrumentation, and the man-machine interface in general? Um, again, we've taken the, the history of Airbus, uh, and we've taken what we have on the 380, which is a set of the screens, which you can see here in front of you. Yeah. And we can interface with these screens with a trackball, which is uh, down here. Uh, with the 380, it was uh, the first uh, step uh, with some simple uh, interactions between the trackball and these displays. And then for, uh, for the A400, we've really expanded and used this uh, capability to the maximum. So it means that we can use this uh, interface to control all the various options that the nations have taken on the airplane, uh, be it uh, air to air refueling, uh, defensive aid systems, uh, complicated communication systems uh, like the MIDS uh, with an AWACS. Uh, and this allows us to have a very integrated cockpit uh, for two cooperation, but actually operating a large number of systems. Okay. Well, Ed, that was fascinating. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us today. Thanks, it's great to come and look at our airplane. Okay. Eleanor Moyer, Airbus A400M Market Development Manager, was instrumental in providing further details on this imposing aircraft. The A400M is a versatile airlifter that can perform at the same time three functions, strategic, logistic and tanker missions providing a greater flexibility compared to current airlifters. The A400M has outstanding tactical capabilities, thanks to its landing gear design and low speed capabilities. It is able to operate on short, soft and semi-prepared airfields. Aerodynamic lift is improved by the wing profile and counter-rotating engines that increase the lift and allow a shorter wingspan. Moreover, the T-tail configuration allows a very high angle of attack in approach. It can also transport oversize and heavier loads due to the excellent balance between total volume and cargo hold cross-section. For example, it can transport big helicopters such as the Chinook and bigger and heavier armed vehicles like the Centauro. It is also a tanker able to refuel helicopters and fighters, but also big aircraft like another A400M. The A400M is three aircraft in one, capable of covering a wider range of missions, both humanitarian and military. Airbus Military always considers environmental impact aspects while developing its military aircraft. The A400M level of noise is much lower than other airlifters. The latest technologies in engine development result in less consumption than other existing aircraft. Moreover, due to the characteristics explained before, to perform the same missions an Air Force will need a lower number of A400Ms, resulting in a lower impact on emissions per fleet. Mr. José Luis Tejedor head of A400M Marketing at Airbus Military talks to us about the commercial side of uh, Airbus Military Affairs. Well, uh, first thing uh, we have to understand uh, is that uh, the commercial business, the commercial market, is much uh, larger than the military one. Just think uh, about the number of airlines that you have in the world, close to a thousand, while uh, the number of uh, countries that uh, uh, buy this uh, sort of military transport aircraft is uh, much smaller. So in terms of the uh, quantities, uh, we can say that uh, we are the market leaders by far. Uh, we have sold a total of uh, 840 aircraft. That obviously is a much uh, 
lower uh, amount of aircraft than uh, Airbus uh, commercial uh, uses to sell in a single year. Uh, Professor Nan 12 is uh, particularly good uh, for us. Uh, again, we are uh, the leaders of uh, this element. Uh, we have sold uh, so far more than double the number of aircraft uh, in comparison with other uh, existing airplanes. And uh, regarding the f 100 apart from the launch uh, nations, we are uh, contemplating the next for market. We believe uh, the potential market is in the region of uh, 400 aircraft. What new products are in store? And is Airbus military also going to concentrate on drones? Well, uh, product policy is one of the, the most difficult tasks in any, in any company, and particularly in the military market, because as I said, it's much more peculiar than the commercial one. Yes, obviously, we are uh, evolving our products. Uh, over here, we have uh, uh, our maritime patrol version of uh, one of uh, our planes, the C-295. We are de developing further this uh, display, going to uh, full and submarine warfare uh, versions. Regarding the front of them, what they will have uh, behind, uh, behind me, in front of, uh, in front of you, uh, is the basic uh, version that uh, has been bought by the launch, uh, version, uh, launch uh, nations. But obviously, we are uh, developing for the aircraft to meet the, the requirements of the export market. Uh, regarding drones, difficult question. Uh, on one side, uh, it is true that uh, everybody believes that it's the way to go. Actually, the, uh, the market is a bit crowded uh, because uh, basically it is concentrated basically on uh, military uh, activities. There are uh, many other areas that uh, is still being under exploration which drones, of course, uh, they will have a lot of things uh, to say.